Hello interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with a problem where you will have uh, problems with your user library on macOS. We're currently running macOS Mojave, so 10.14. I think we're on 10.14.6 to be exact. Uh, yes, 10.14.6. Um, so we've got this error message here that appears when I try to run Apple Mail. And it appears saying, macOS needs to repair your library to run this application. Um, fine, you type in the user password and you hit repair, uh, but it still doesn't work. And in this instance, for me, uh, Apple Mail will just crash out anyway. So that doesn't work. And in addition to that, in Photos, I've got a similar issue where it says the library could not be opened. Photos is attempted to repair the library, Photos library, but it's unable to open it. Same problem. You can't fix your photo library. And you may also get issues in iTunes, or you'll probably get issues in Calendar, maybe Contacts as well, and just anything that is saving data in the user library folder. Um, and so firstly, what causes this? Well, the user library folder, um, you go into your home folder and you won't find it here because it's hidden by default. But if you click on go and hold down option, you'll see library there. And I've just realized that's behind my face. Hold on a sec. Bam. So there we go. You hit on the go menu, you hold down the option key on your keyboard and you'll see library as an option there. And that will show you your library folder, like so. So this is the area where we've got problems. And I mean, you can see if we scroll through a lot of here, mail has got a no entry sign on it. So has messages, uh, so has cookies. And uh, let's go into application support, address book, Apple there. So various things on here are be are we're locked out of these folders. We don't have permission to view them. So this is a permissions issue. And uh, there's various things that can cause this. In the instance of this computer, this has happened because I recovered these user files from a failing hard drive while I was logged in as a different user. I was doing sudo cp to copy from a failed hard drive. So I've copied in other file permissions and that has rendered this um, user folder damaged. I am actually logged in as that user that I recovered, but we have dam a damaged library. So you might say, well, fine, let's just let's just ch own it from terminal, right? So, okay, well, I can go to terminal and I can type in sudo ch own, so change owner, uh, recursive, verbose, um, change owner to j, which is our current username, drag the home folder in there, and we've got that command. And that theoretically should take ownership as j for everything in the home folder, everything in the library, the whole shooting match. That used to work for this, but it doesn't anymore because modern MacOS has what's called system integrity protection, which basically locks access to certain system files and Apple uh, applications to prevent malware from fiddling with it. Um, now, obviously, the prime place where system integrity protection is supposed to save you is from the system library and the system folder which is obviously outside the users folder. If we go up a level to macOS here, as you can see, there's the system library and the system folder. Those are the ones that we really want system integrity protection to be saving. However, in addition to that, malware is most likely to be running as the local user account, in which case it can still mess up your home folder because it has your local permissions to do that. So, what we actually have to do to fix this problem is we have to disable system integrity protection, then take ownership of all of this, and then we wanna turn system integrity protection back on again. You don't wanna leave it turned off because in you know in pretty much 99.9% .9 of the, the time, it's not going to be causing an issue. So you want the protection it's granting you just in case. It's only at times like this where you've been dicking about with the computer that system integrity protection might be getting in the way. So with all that in mind, let's get into it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to reboot the computer from a MacOS bootable flash drive uh, or into a recovery environment I think we can do. Let me just see if we've actually got a recovery environment on this laptop. I'm not actually sure because I've just been rebuilding it. So I'm going to shut down the computer. Right, and I'm going to turn the computer on and press the option key. And I'm just gonna to switch to the overhead cam because I don't think I can do HDMI output while I'm doing this. So I'm holding down the option key to get my, get my boot menu. No, I don't have a recovery partition set up on this laptop because I've just reinstalled macOS on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my macOS flash drive 
So this is a flash drive with MacOS on it. I'm not gonna go into how to make one of these Google search it. There'll be hundreds of videos or walkthroughs on how to make one of these. Maybe someday I'll get around to making one myself. So anyway, we'll plug that in and I'll get the Mojave installer. There we go. So now I'm gonna boot from my flash drive so I can get to a recovery environment. Hey, awesome, we do get uh, HDMI output. Badoosh. Good, that means I don't have to do the really unprofessional camera pointed at screen, which I hate doing. It looks uncool. All right, so now we're here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on Utilities up the top and click on Terminal. Whoop. Can I make this text bigger? All right, here we go. I've just embiggened the text. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in CSRUtil disable. Enter. There we go. Right, so system integrity protection has been disabled. Please restart the machine for the changes to take effect. So now we reboot the computer. Bam, done. This shouldn't take very long because we're on an SSD, naturally. Okay, right, and I've just reopened Google Chrome because it's easier to do, it's easier to open up a Google homepage to cover up the user data than it is to hide the user data. Anyway, right, so now we want to run our permissions repair. So I'm gonna open up a finder window and I'm gonna to go to the users folder. And we want terminal and uh, let's embiggen this. There we go. And I'm gonna go sudo chown, ah, chow, change ownership, recursive, verbose. You don't have to use the verbose, you don't have to use the verbose option. I, lo I like having verbose because I can see that terminal is doing stuff. And I like that. Uh, right, uh, we're changing the owner to J and we're doing that on the entire J folder. Bam, uh, type in the password and off it goes. And if you've got an SSD, this shouldn't take very long. Like, you know, 10, 20 seconds tops. If you're on a hard drive, might be longer. If you are on a hard drive, get an SSD. They're not expensive. <laughs> okay, right, we've just finished. I've just shunted this video to one side just so there's no user data on show in those file names. And Calendar has suddenly decided that it's active now. So I'll allow Calendar to use my location. Um, so let's put that to the test. Let's try opening up um, Photos. And now Photos is actually updating our library. So we'll let that run through and just check that all the photos appear. And that's how we know it's actually worked. So we'll just confirm that that's all good. I might leave this to run because it looks like it's gonna think about it. I think there might be a sizable photo library on this computer, I'm not sure. I don't look too closely at user files for obvious reasons. Yep, I'll get back to you in a moment. I'm just gonna position that there so I can blur it out when it does appear. Okay, right, that repair has completed and as you can see through the blur, uh, we have photos and if I roll all the way down to the bottom, uh, it says there are 22,500 items here. So our, I, so our photos library is repaired and as such, it's pretty safe to assume that everything else is going to work now as well. I'm sure that if I open up mail, that will also say it's working fine. Actually, you know what, let's do that anyway. So uh, there we go, mail is actually doing the upgrade. That whizzed through that. And now once again, behind all of the, uh, uh, behind all of the blur, we have the user's email. So that is all hunky-dory as well. So now we need to turn on system integrity protection again. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut down the computer and boot from my flash drive again. So I'm going to restart, restart. And once again, I'm gonna hold down option and boot from my uh, MacOS flash drive. Okay, and just like last time, we're gonna go utilities terminal. Embiggen. And I'm gonna type in CSR util enable. There we go, successfully enabled system integrity protection. Uh, restart your computer to, for the changes to take effect.
So again, I'll restart the computer. And at this point, now our problem is solved. We're basically done. So you can go ahead and carry on sorting out the laptop. Um, that's more or less where I'm going to leave you here because our, our issue is now resolved. So um, it's worth noting there might be there might be other ways of dealing with this. I'll leave that to your discretion. This is just the way that I solve this issue. It's going to depend on what is causing your issue. For example, if you have an issue just with photos saying that the library can't be repaired, but all of your other apps are working, you might just have a corrupted photos library or something like that. This video is specifically for when you have permissions errors on permissions errors on your entire library folder. So at any rate, I'll let you all argue in the comments about whether my method is right or wrong. This is how I did it and we solved it. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.